Intel Darren here. Welcome to Car Polishing for Beginners and how to oversimplify your world in a good way so that you can get what you want out of your world with your car. So how do you get what you want? My guess is, is that you want a car that looks better than it currently does. You already accept the fact that you're probably gonna need to use a buffer in order to do that. Likely you're overwhelmed by the endless opinions, endless choices. I have a solution for you. It's called the Torque. It's not the only buffer out there. It's just what I consider the winning combination. Let me tell you why. Because it comes as a kit. It is ideal for a beginner. And if you embrace and get passionate about polishing your car, regardless, it will not be the last buffer that you ever buy, nor the last pads or polishes or compounds. So I tell beginners, do not overthink it at the beginning. When you overthink it, you go into analysis paralysis. You will not be able to make a decision. If you cannot make a decision, you will not get what you want. What we want to get you is a polished car. So just pull the trigger, you check the links. There's always going to be links that are associated with this video in the show more box. Here I've already have a preseason pad. So this kit comes with a buffer three different types of pads, a smaller backing plate, and four different types of chemical guys, polishes, and compounds. I chose the V36 for this demonstration. What I'm gonna do is pre-clean the panel first with a solution of distilled water and rubbing alcohol. Yes, I'm using it direct sunlight. As a rule, every product will say to use it in a cool shaded surface, but you can always finesse virtually any product. This has a unique digital trigger, which actually has no trigger, unlike most polishers. I actually like it. You flip it on or off. So there I just flipped it on, and then you have a down and an up, or a negative and a positive. So you just dial it up. Then you take your quality microfiber cloth, wipe it off. Even though I did it in direct sunlight, voila, it still works. Now you should be able to see a line of demarcation before and after. See how simple that was to now create a uniform appearance? So now your paint is polished. It's far from perfect but it looks so much better than the heavily spider webbed and swirled up area over here. We can see our after, and then we can pan over here and see our before and the swirl marks, the spider webbing. Then when we pull back, our car looks great compared to the panel over there. I'm gonna go ahead and do some over here also. It does not take much to season the pad. I've already done one pass. Now I added five more pea-sized drops to it. You don't have to overthink that part. Turn it on, dial it up. pretty certain it would be harder to find a simpler approach than that. You do not need to overthink it. Out of the hundreds of guys that I talk to all over the world, this is an area that is overthought and I get it because there's endless opinions, endless choices. You're literally on information overload. It's hard to pull the trigger. So I'm trying to get you to pull the trigger with a all-in-one solution that will get you what you want, accepting that A, you're a beginner, 
you're just starting out. And secondly, if you actually really embrace this and become passionate about it, you will be buying more buffers and everything else in the future. So don't overthink it at the beginning. So just check the show more box below each video for any related links that have to do with this video or any other video in the future. I go into great detail at my website as to why choose what I do, why I recommend what I do. There's your fix. Conclusion, as a beginner, don't overthink it. We're on information overload. Keep it simple. This kit keeps it super simple. It's got the buffer, the pads, the polishes, everything you need to produce a professional looking shine on your car. Something that I like to add for beginners specifically are a couple points. One, if you sit on the fence and you read review after review after review, you're never gonna get any closer to what you actually want, shiny paint. So don't overthink it. Secondly, just accept that this will probably not be the last buffer you buy. It very well could be because it's a quality buffer and it's got everything you need to perform the job that you wanna do, but it probably won't be because you won't be able to help yourself. So just accept that fact. Get started with a simplified approach and then moving forward, buy as many tools and buffers and polishes that you want. So how's that for a simple solution? And by the way, guys, if you do like the video, thumbs up or thumbs down, matters not, you tell me and leave me any comments. Did specifically this, did I apply a voice of reason to a very convoluted and complex subject? That's what I wanna know from you guys. To me, this represents one of the winning balances that can solve a very specific problem in your world.